We start with S3S lumber and freshen up the squared edges at the joiner. Having a large 16 inch joiner with a helical head is an absolute dream. We then head to the table saw with the power feeder attached and rip the boards to a consistent width and get the edges paralleled and freshened up to the 90 degree edge. At this point we can put our easy gluer with the edge gluing attachment to good use. It is a pressure pot that makes production glue ups extremely fast. With the easy gluer and the JLT clamp rack we can glue up a panel in under a minute. This particular clamp rack can accommodate five layers of clamps. Being our tabletop takes up the entire length of the rack and the number of clamps that we have, we are only able to glue up four at a time. With the panel dry, we can now head to the CNC to surface it smooth and bring it to final thickness. We first lay the top of the panel down as we tried very hard to keep everything flush during the glue up. We also surround the panel with scrap pieces of wood to maintain as much vacuum as possible. We then flip the panel, we locate the panel the same place as we did last time so we don't have to modify our G-code, and then surround it again with plywood and surface it to thickness. Once we take a full, complete pass, we measure the thickness and subtract our final thickness and put that number into our program. It then takes multiple passes to bring it down to our final thickness. I place a piece of foam on the shop floor and bust out our track saw. Here we have a Festool track, a Makita X2 36 volt track saw, and Woodpecker's framing square. We square the track to the long side of the tabletop and make our cut. Then we rotate the tabletop, measure the length, and repeat the cut. Next, Matt preps for breadboard ends. We will use the Festool Domino XL700 to connect the breadboard ends to the table. He marks out the tabletop and the breadboard ends with the use of Woodpecker's Story Stick. While maintaining a centered domino, he makes all the dominoes in the breadboard ends and then moves to the tabletops. The center two dominoes are cut on the tight setting and the outer domino mortises are cut on the loose settings. This will allow the top to expand and contract and let the dominoes move with the tabletop. As Matt works on the domino mortises, I prep the stock for the dowels we are going to need to peg the breadboard end. I take a scrap piece and cut some thin slabs at the bandsaw, and then take the slabs and cut them into small squares that are slightly over the dowel size. Then we use a cordless drill to press all our dowels in the woodpecker's dowel press. This tool uses multiple dials for the size dowel that you'd like, and you continuously run them through the die until you have the correct size. Once Matt cuts all the mortises for the dominoes, he then brings the breadboard ends and drills the holes that we need to peg with the walnut pegs that I just made. Matt then puts the breadboard end on top of the dowels and then marks a roughly a sixteenth of an inch in that allows the press fit for the breadboard dowels. As we drive the dowels in, it will want to pull the breadboard end towards the table. When we assemble, we only apply glue to the center two dominoes. Then Matt places all the walnut dowels in position, pounds them in a little bit, and the very last bit he applies a little bit of wood glue so he secures them in place. Once the dowels are done drying, we flush cut them, sand the entire table, apply a round over, and then we can go ahead and apply a bunch of coats of polyurethane on the tabletops. And man alive, I tell you what, these things have turned out very, very nice, and the client was very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have a few more videos that pertain to the Valley City Bar Job. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to provide some feedback. I documented this project pretty hard on social media, so go ahead and follow the links in the description and give me a like or subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.